Hello I am Diego from Factotum Almost. In this video I will show you how to buy and install a small modification kit for your bench lathe. Many brands of bench lathes as Valex, Einhell, Furvey, Fox, Grizzly, and so, in the end are always the same device just change the color, the lathe is built in China by the sink. And the reference model is the C2, or C3. To recognize them, just look the carriage, and particularly the housing of the lever for the automatic feed, and the hand wheel for the manual one. From the website of the SIG, I browsed all of the sites of their international distributors, and found the ARC Euro Trade. This is their home page. The website is really very supplied of equipment and utensils. And in particular of spare parts and modification of some of the most common amateur machine tools that we can find on the market in our country. Now go on the machine accessories menu. Then click on lathe accessories. Finally click updates. Selects the half nuts as you can see here. You can find them in metric and imperial versions. This link also has a photographic manual, that explains step by step how to make the change alone. However, the manual does not tell you, that the changes you have made, you will need to give up the cover of the lead screw. To solve this problem, please watch the next video in which I'll show you how to build a valid better solution, as well the original would also suggest buying the threads indicator, whose cost is very affordable and will help you besides not having to reverse every time the direction of rotation of the spindle, to keep half nuts in good condition for a long time. So let's get started. Remove all the protections and performs a general cleaning of the device. Remove the external support which houses the lead screw, then passes to the gearbox. Remove the gear mounted on the other end of the lead screw. The spacer. And finally the key. Now you can push the lead screw out from the other support, extract the lead screw. And now you can move to remove the feed group. Loosen the two top bolts and remove the feed group, supporting it with one hand. Here is the group. In the right you can see the manual feed gears. Add left the original half nut, and the hook we're going to replace. Remove the hook. As you can see, the hook had already broken to the old owner, but he was fixing it with a strong brazing, because the parts are made of cast iron. Disassembles the old half nut. It is really very worn. Clean well, and apply a little bit of oil. Here's our kit. It consists of two half nuts, that connect to lead screw. As lathes larger, one of them, has an adjustment screw, that allows you not to over tighten the nut, when they are geared, to avoid unnecessary wear and tear. Now enter the new half nuts in place, and remount, all the other parts. Insert the lead screw and regulates the closing of half nuts. Vamp the advancement group, but leave the bolts a little loose. brings the carriage to the rear limit, and gear the half nuts. Now you can tighten the support of the lead screw, and the feed group. Finally install the thread indicator. 
The last adjustment is done on the index of the indicator. If the signs do not match to the indicator, unscrews the index and applies a drop of Loctite. Finally screw the plate again until the marks match exactly. If you want, you can leave a comment, like or dislike this video. There are no problems. But do not forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Thanks so much for watching.